Welcome to Honey Combo, a roll and write game by Kenji Sugawara. Compete with neighboring honeybee colonies to produce the most honey. Collect nectar, pollinate, and assert your dominance as the queen bee to create the most efficient hive there ever was to be. The object of the game is to score the most honey points. Let's talk about gameplay. First, make sure your sector placement die is on sector 1. There are six sectors as evidenced by the color on your board and a number marking it to show which sector you're in. The middle honeycomb is included in every sector. Each time a round ends, the sector die increases to the next sector placement. Actions that occur will all be done in the corresponding sector of the hive for that round. The active player rolls the dice and drafts one die. For each round, two dice are chosen. Other players do not have access to the first drafted die that the active player has picked. The active player then picks one additional die. The remaining players draft two of the remaining dice. This can happen simultaneously. A note about the dice. As you can see, two dice are marked with a black dot and two have no black dot. Only one of each type of die can be used per turn. Once you've taken the necessary actions, the round ends and the next person in clockwise order becomes the active player. It is their turn to roll the dice and draft their die. Let's go over actions. The star indicates nectar. Place nectar in that round sector by drawing a star. Up to three nectar can go into each honeycomb. A flower indicates pollination or the flower track. You can draw a flower in the hive, one flower per honeycomb. Or you can cross out one flower in the flower bed. Some flowers have bonus abilities to automatically take when you cross it out. This gives you the opportunity to create combos. A swirl indicates larva. Larva are drawn as a swirl in any one honeycomb in that sector. These score points to the larva track when activated. If you choose a wing, you automatically go up the wing track. Be aware, some wings have additional bonuses. The orange hex allows you to place a special honeycomb in your sector. These each have their own abilities that become activated during the game. Write the corresponding letter in that honeycomb. Each special honeycomb can only be placed once. These are never crossed out when activated. The crown allows you to draw a crown in any one honeycomb in that sector or go up the crown track. The yellow hex allows you to activate any one honeycomb in your sector. Finally, some dice have a green arrow icon with, the other with another ability on it. The green arrow is an activation die. If you choose this dice and choose to use the green arrow activation, that is your only ability for that round. When you activate a dice, you choose one of the rows to start from in that sector. Cross out the arrow and begin to work your way through the hive from one side to the other. You'll move from your round sector into another sector. Any nectar gives you instant honey points that you cross off in the honey tracker. Any larva, which have hatched, you mark on your worker bee track. Any crowns mean you double the following action. If you have two nectar in the next honeycomb, it would score four points. If you have a flower, you pollinate it. To pollinate, you add one nectar to every surrounding honeycomb. Cross out any honeycomb you have activated along the way that had an action in it. The exceptions are that you never cross out a letter, special ability, a flower, or a crown. Those are never crossed out during activation and are reused each time they do get activated. The game ends when one person has reached 25 honey points. They receive two additional points. Use the point tracker at the bottom to score. Score your total nectar. Next, whoever has the most crowns on the crown track receives 7 points, second most is 3, and the least gets minus 2. Receive 2 points for however many hex abilities you had on your board. Whatever row you end on in the wing track is the total number of points you receive. Rows are not cumulative. The worker bee track scores points based on the tier you ended. You do not have to finish the tier to collect points. Tiers are not cumulative. Finally, for each flower bed you've completed, you receive the total points. The flower bed is cumulative. Some additional bonus rules. If you have circled a crown on the crown track on your turn, you can choose to re-roll your dice. To do so, color in your crown. When you complete a tier on the wing track, you unlock an ability to manipulate the current round sector by plus or minus one for your board. On the worker bee track, for each new section you complete, you get a bonus ability to use when you want. To use it, activate any honeycomb on your board in that round sector. 
For each completed flower bed, you unlock a one-time ability of adding an additional dice to your draft. This can include the die drafted by the active player. Finally, be creative and have fun.